episode, you saw me go out and source the timber that I was going to use, and, and in this case, it's birch. And then I stenciled to form the shape. Then using my Ultra Forza Axe, the Classic, and the Mini, I also used the Mora carving knives and the Gone Boy Silky Saw to form the shape. Then I left it for a couple of weeks and hoped that it wouldn't split and waited for the, the wood to dry and cure before starting the next stage. And if you haven't seen that one, I'll leave a link in the description box and I'll also leave a link at the end of this video. Giving consideration to time scales, doing this in a traditional way, this took me four to six hours to get to this stage. And during the drying period, a little crack appeared around the handle. Uh, the other parts of the cooks were fine, luckily. What I decided to do was to thin out that particular area. Uh, I was going to drill a hole in it actually, or bore a hole in, but on this occasion it was just too severe. And um, I decided just to still keep the handle but thin it out. And as you can see, I'm just carving out the lip here and just making a few refinements. I don't want to go too fancy with it. Um, what I want to do is keep that rustic look. The main priority is the uh, functionality of it. Yeah, I think it's ready for the next stage. Now I've got rid of all the rough edges and it's smoother on the outside. It's time to do the inside and um, take away any of the rough edges where bacteria might collect and stuff like that. Smooth it all out with a, a coarse sandpaper. And then what you do is go down a grade to a medium coarse, then down a grade again to a finer coarse, just to smooth it all off. that the bowl of the cooker was nice and smooth. Just clear the dust away and just prepared to apply the wood dye that I purchased from my local hardware store. For this one I'm using an ebony wood dye. What you need to do is shake the bowl vigorously really for about 30 seconds to a minute. This combines the mixture and gives you consistent colour when you're applying the dye to the wood. a fairly soft wood, the birch wood, so the dye soaked in to a nice standard that I was very happy with. I didn't want the dye to go through to the cup of the cookser. For that I bought an antibacterial oil that prevents cracking. The formulation kills E. coli and MRSA from contact. The waterproofing technology protects the wood from surface water damage. It penetrates and nourishes the wood and stops it from drying out or splitting cracking and it also enhances the natural beauty of the, uh, the wood on the inside of the cup. for about an hour and a half and applied another thin coat. So this makes it waterproof and obviously looks after the cookser. If you do this every six months, by maintaining it like that, you'll get many years out of your cookser and uh, you look after it and it will look after you. So I hope you liked this episode guys and if you did, please like, consider subscribing and uh, if you have any questions, then just leave a message in the comment box and I'll get back to you when I can. So until next time, guys, you take care, look after yourselves, be prepared, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>